The next module we will focus on is the Abbey Flexi Capture Administration and Monitoring Console. So we'll talk about a few different topics. Uh, this is essentially a dashboard tool on steroids. We've got more that we can do than just kind of get snapshots of the current state of affairs in Flexi Capture. So certainly we can monitor and we can look at logs uh, and generate reports but there's a lot more that we can do as well. So including system cleanup and, and permissions, um, really quite a bit. So this graphic helps paint the picture. We can view details on document processing to get a sense of uh, productivity of verification operators and overall throughput. We can look for bottlenecks in the system and so forth. We can control system operations, um, for instance, if someone has a session that has stalled, you can uh, clear that stalled session. You can also generate reports, create users, edit user rights, uh, create tenants, and set up an entire FlexiCapture distributed system. Now, in order to get into the administration and monitoring console, you can either have the administrator right or the monitoring operator right. Um, and the administrator right gives you the ability to actually delete batches where the monitoring operator cannot delete batches. So there's quite a bit you can look at in the administration and monitoring console. You can look at a project's uh, productivity. You can get a batch view and see all the active batches as well as the active tasks and active sessions. You can look at an event log. You can look at errors. And with everything in the administration monitoring console, whether it's a report or if it's a screen that you're looking at directly, you can create filters so that you're looking at just the data that you need to focus on. So that could be a date filter or you could be filtering on a specific project and so forth. With the administration monitoring console, you can create tenants. So any administrator who logs into their tenant can only see data assigned to that tenant. In other words, they can't, as administrator, look at some other tenant's data. You can also create reports, create custom reports, and we'll talk more about email notifications. An important feature of FlexiCapture's administration and monitoring console is its ability to clean up the system, to delete out-of-date data from the server, um, and that applies to batches that have been proce processed, as well as a lot of statistical data that's, you know, at a certain point no longer needed. So you can set time intervals to delete uh, process batches. In other words, batches that have been exported. By default, that's a 14-day time limit. And also report data. By default, that's 180 days. Now you can change those time intervals as needed um, if you need to uh, clean up your system um, in a different way. In other words, if you've got a very high volume system, you're probably going to want to shorten those time lengths to make sure that your system is not getting uh, hit too hard with uh, having to store too many resources. So <clears throat> not only can you set up automatic cleanup, but you can also invoke manual cleanup. And in this case, you can specify the time interval that you um, are focused on um, and so, for instance, if we wanted to delete all batches that were older, that have been exported seven days or later, then you can switch this from 14 to 7, click Delete, and that will clean up your system in real time. I mentioned we'd get back to email notifications. You can set up email notifications in uh, the Administration and Monitoring Console, and it's a good idea to do this, especially to... Uh, prevent any delays in processing. So you want to get an email sent to you when you are close to exceeding your license page limit. I think that's one of the most important things here. Um, you don't want to exceed your license page limit. I was actually on site at a customer in the Midwest and they actually ran out of pages while I was on site. They had not set up any page limit email notification, so they were taken by surprise.
this is kind of a good summary of the logging um, that, you, that you can do with FlexiCapture Distributed. First of all, you can go to the Administration and Monitoring Console and run a bunch of reports, uh, look at some logs, and save them out and as a CSV files. And that's something that Abbey Tech Technical Support may ask you to do. Um, you can also go to the Administration, I'm sorry, to the Processing Server GUI, and that too will give you access to some log information. And then you can also go to the Operating System Event Logs. So when you're dealing with Abbey Tech Support, they may ask you for a variety of these logs. If you're a value-added reseller, you should familiarize yourself with these logs as you're going to be the first line of support for your customers. One last feature I'd point out is in the Administration Monitoring Console, there's a uh, the ability to download the Fit Client Scan Station software, so you don't have to track down the installation media. You can go directly to the Administration Monitoring Console URL and um, uh, go ahead and download the Scan Station software. So we talked about uh, some of the capabilities of the Administration Monitoring Console the ability to do reports, to get email notifications, uh, control really the processing of your system, keep an eye on bottlenecks, set user permissions. There's quite a lot to do. Because it's a GUI, it's pretty easy to get up to speed with its capabilities just by logging in and poking around.